We're back out on the bass buggy for another great tip. Today we're talking about everyone's favorite finesse setup, the Ned Rig. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. All right, my little bass buggy. Not able to take you out fishing today. They're busting up at the bank and it's too shallow for even you. So today, we're gonna have to leave you behind for once. So I'll take you out again real soon, I promise. Good one? He's decent. He's fighting real good. Come here, you. Good fish. Good fish. All right. Yeah, that's actually a good one. That's a real good one. That's a beautiful color and everything. Look at that. He's decent. Now it's full of grass like everything else being thrown up in here. Welcome back to Low Brow Fishing. And today we're talking about finesse fishing, specifically Ned Rigs. We all know these little guys work great on heavily pressured waters or on days with bluebird skies and the wind's not blowing or when the fish just aren't in the mood to bite. Throw one of these out, chances are if anything can get them to bite, this can. The problem with them though is this head right here and that line tie, that mushroom shape and that line tie, they don't do so good in heavily vegetated areas milfoil, hydrilla, eelgrass, you'll be pulling in a sea hag's wig or a mop every single cast and that can be quite frustrating. That's why I came up with something, at least I haven't seen anyone else doing it, where I fish the Ned Rig slightly differently. Instead of using a Ned Rig jig head, I'm using a one -odd worm hook and I Texas rig it on there just as you would any other Texas word or bait or craw or whatever. You slide it through, slide it up, measure your hook out, your barb out, and then stick the hook through, and there you have it. It's a nice little tasty morsel that no bass can resist. And best of all, when paired with a 1 8 ounce bullet weight or smaller, you get all the benefits of still fishing that Ned Rig. They do great in grassy vegetated areas with a lot of slop. You find that when the fish just aren't in the mood to bite, this can do the trick. So when you're out on waters that have a lot of grass and a lot of vegetation and you still want to throw that Ned Rig, give this a try. I think you'll be happy with the results and how well this thing catches fish and comes through the grass. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.